Welcome back. Just a real brief introduction to JWT tokens right here. A JWT token stands for JSON Web Tokens. You can see that right here. And these tokens are pretty much just a string that's created by three smaller strings with a dot in between, like you see right here. String one, right here, string two, right here, and string three. And they all have different meanings. So the first part right here is the header that's going to explain what algorithm it's using to kind of create this string. The second one is a payload. And this is where information about you would be if you kind of logged into a system there would be some information about you right here and the final thing is a signature which a verify signature you're using in order to make sure that this has not been breached in any way and think of a JWT token as pretty much the key it's going to be the key for our endpoint so when you log in we're going to give you a key and you can use that key to get into the endpoint. Now we put in stuff like we say the key will be outdated after a certain amount of time, it'll, it'll destroy itself. Um, so you, we set that up and we can also do things like we can actually set up ways to, to invalidate tokens later on. But in reality, tokens should be short-lived, meaning that you should set a time saying maybe a week, maybe even shorter, maybe only an hour where the token will live and then you'll have to log in again. And I think we don't need more than an hour in our case, then you should be forced to log in again. Now these tokens that we have and create right here, we will create them on the backend. So our backend code will generate a token looking something like this, and then it'll create and convert it into an encoded token looking something like this. And we're going to send that to the front end. And then the front end will, every time it makes a request to the back end, send this token that we can again on the back end open up and look at who's actually trying to enter the application. If we accept the token, they are who they say they are. If we don't, we'll unauthorize the person and just reject them and ask them to log in again. So that's the idea with the token. So that's what we're going to build next lesson. Now you can dive more into these tokens if you want to and, and check out more about JWT tokens. Uh, just go in and learn about JWT and there's a lot more information in here because I didn't kind of cover everything right here. But uh, that was kind of just the main introduction right here and we'll try and create one and then maybe you can see even more of the stuff we have right here on JWT. Io. So, hope you guys found that informative and next lesson we're going to actually start building our first authentication part of our application. See you next time.